Hello everyone, my name is Stephen George and I play video games. Today I'm playing Earthbound. Welcome to Stephen Plays. When we last left off, we were making the long trek to Southern Valley and we accomplished it today. Look, check it out. We're in Southern Valley. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. Uh, now that we are in Southern Valley, we raise the question of what we're supposed to do. Well, how about we start by getting rid of these terrible possessors? I'm Dr. Southern Zoom, and I can repair your body. Doing. Do you want me to operate on you, Ding? Yes. You all fixed up. Goody, boing. That's it. You're probably saying, well, wait, what? The, the hospital was free? Yes. Everything in Saturn Valley is free. Well, the services are free. Do you want slumber? Yes. K.O. Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken iron. After being fixed, the broken iron became the slime generator. Neat. We has equipment. Slime generator. Items for Jeff. Sprays a sticky substance that stops the enemy from moving. Can be used many times. I usually don't use the slime generator. Um, in fact, it's it's some. I, normally, I'm just very offensive with Jeff. I just have him attack. But eh, maybe it's something I'll try and remember to use this time. Let's keep moving. Southern Valley does have equipment that we can buy. We're going to want to speak to one of the Mr. Southerns in this cave, though. Base. Secret. Base behind Grapefruit Falls. Password? I tell. Belchman say, say password. Then stand still. Wait for three minutes. You have to talk to this Mr. Southern for it to even work, but uh, the next area of the game is behind a waterfall. And you have to wait for three minutes, which ought to be a whole load of fun. Hi, hi, hi. You come by and you can sell, too. I, Mr. Southern, boing, can do all for you. What do you want, Zoom? Now, as you can see, they've got a few things that we could uh, benefit from. Mostly uh, the bracelets and the, and the ribbons. Once again, I'm not a fan of the slingshots just because the accuracy is so low. Uh, so I normally don't get them. We also have great charms we could get. Is there anything Zoom else need? No. Because we need, well, money. This is the ATM. Looks silly. Yes, it is. Welcome to the Mac Teller Machine. Let's go ahead and withdraw our money, which we have a ton of. Holy crap. And <laughs> I want to withdraw the money, not zero money. Let's see here. $2,000. Saw they cover it. Okay. Do I have anything I need to sell? No, I have... Okay, good. I have enough inventory slots, too. We're going to go ahead and buy the... Let's buy the red ribbon for Paula. She's first. Ladies first. Defense, 41 to 46. Ribbon, oh, uh, that one is 44. What you think about that price? Zoom? Okay, thank. Uh, let's go ahead and buy those silver bracelets. Paula already found one in a casket, which is a little sketchy, but whatever. Go ahead and sell this old crap. It is very important to make sure your guys have the latest equipment so they don't get completely trampled in battle. Copper bracelet. Let's go ahead and sell that. What else do we need? Well, they all want great charms. But I don't really think they're all that great. So we're just gonna not bother. <laughs> Anything else you need? No. Not to mention, if we do that, we're gonna be like completely out of money. And I would rather have money, so we're just gonna skip out on that. There we go. Your account will be credited $1,096. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. This guy also sells some stuff. Actually, um, I probably should buy a few. He's got these things called peanut cheese bars. They are, uh, they're only 22 bucks, but they restore a ton of health. Uh, I think like 100 or something like that. So it's, it's like a, a easy shot of uh, Life Up Alpha. $22. Let's buy five, so we need, if my math serves me correct, $110. I think. My math does not always serve me correct. Also, serve me correct? Should I be saying serve me correctly? I think I should be. Whatever. Peanut cheese. Oh, I just realized I was already I was already carrying a dollar. Okay, well I'll still have a dollar then. That's good. More peanut cheese. 
and we're actually just about ready to go into the area of the game where it's worth grinding. Um, and it's not that you're grinding to get ahead. Um, you're actually just grinding to level up because it's so easy to level up. And we might spend a little time there. Anything you need? Well, no, because I'm out of money. Okay, let's go. Alright, now there is more to see. And if I haven't made this clear, I think I've made this clear. This Let's Play is not to show you everything in Earthbound. This is not the point of this Let's Play. This Let's Play is for me to express the joy and love that I get from Earthbound, but also to, um, to sh hopefully have you gain interest in the game. Because the game is absolutely magnificent. Um, and I really wish that you would consider playing the game yourself. That's, that's really what this is about. Because I love this game, but I'm skipping a lot. There's a lot of stuff I'm bypassing. And it would be in your best interest, if this has been in interesting in any way whatsoever, to acquire the game yourself, um, either buy, buy the cartridge if you have a Super Nintendo, or download the ROM, and play it. Play it! It's a good game! Doggone! It's my favorite game ever, and for good reason. Uh, I'm skipping so much just because there's just not enough time. There would be like 400 episodes if I talked to everybody. So please, 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 if you have not played Earthbound, please play Earthbound. That is that is the ultimate goal of this Let's Play, to, to, to help you gain interest in this game, because it's awesome, and there's a lot I'm, I'm bypassing. So, if you haven't played it, play it. You could spend an entire lifetime playing it and fighting violent roaches, apparently. My god, why are there so many violent roaches? Well, thank you, Polly. You pretty much took care of that yourself. Excellent. Continuing onward. And I know I'm going to get a lot of slack from people who are going to be like, why didn't you go in, you know, this cave or this this place? Why didn't you get the present out of this? Listen, I just, I move. I'm on the move. I, I, I really don't spend too much time getting uh, presents and stuff. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Click. Well, with a great photograph, will always bring back the fondest memories. Moving on. Say the password. Okay. Now, at this point, we don't touch the controller. And uh, we sit here. For three minutes. So you may be saying, well, what are we going to do for three minutes? Well, I don't know. Should we just sit here and do nothing? That seems kind of boring. Perhaps I'll give you a performance. I am Earthbound. I'm an RPG. The second game in a set of three. Didn't do so hot when I first debuted, but ten years later I've got attitude. Great plastic coating with shiny parts inside. Put me in your console, cause I'm a wild ride. The Earth is in danger, we have to call on who? Four heroic teens, Nest Paula, Jeff, and Pooh? Hours of gameplay are down in my heart, it's not hard to believe I'm a work of art. I am Earthbound. I am one sick game. I am Earthbound. Yeah, you better know my name. I am Earthbound. Come and join the blue blue. I am Earthbound. Known in Japan as Mother 2. Yo, I'm Earthbound, you know. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Okay, I don't remember all the lyrics. But it's a, it's a song I made a long time ago. Look it up! Anyway, we're going to bypass the rest of this time. Okay. There's the message. You may enter. After three minutes. Inside of Master Belch's base. Did you bring some fly honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Yes. Okay, you can pass through. Hey, be careful. Make, make sure you don't drop it. Okay. These are the foppies. Remember, foppies are pink and foppies are orange. Notice how they're pink or red. They're, uh, that's the foppies, and later we'll encounter the fobbies, which are pretty much the exact same ending, but, but they're, they're orange. Why are they orange? I, I don't know. Shut up. They are very easy to defeat. Um, they're just little mounds of HP that you have to decrease. They're kind of like the attack slugs. They're a little more difficult than the attack slugs, but they're pretty much the attack slugs. The great thing is they're worth a lot of experience. Jeff's level is now 19. <laughs> I almost said 17. Offense went up by 2, speed went up by 2, guts went up by 1, vitality went up by 1, HP went up by 9. Excellent. We're going to head down here. 
into the fire. Hey guys. Come here. That's right. Give me hugs. And this is fine. Why is this fine? Because we can just use rockin'. Rockin' and fire. Between between that, that should take care of pretty much everything. 72, 80, blah, 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 blah. Rockin's gonna do more damage. That's my prediction. Oh. There we go. Yeah, 109. Well, that was it. It was, it was like it peaked at 109 on one of them, but that was... That was as much as we got. This is friends. Gain 2,000. This level now 22, Vitality Nova 1, Max HP went up by 12, and that's realized the power of Rock and Beta. Apollo's level is now 19, Offense went up by 2, Defense went up by 1, XP went up by 2, People went up by 2, Apollo realized the power of Fire Beta. Jeff's level is now 20, Offense went up by 1, Defense went up by 2, Vitality went up by 1, Oh Baby, IQ went up by 4, Oh Baby, Luck went up by 3, HP went up by 15! Holy crap! That's excellent. That's awesome. Great. Anyway, you can see the, uh, the Mr. Southerns are held hostage to make cans of fly honey for Master Belch. Even more foppies. Now it's really easy in Earthbound to become overleveled, and uh, if you're not if you're not familiar with the concept of being overleveled in a game, well, you will you will be uh, if you play Earthbound. Just walking through the game, you can become overleveled. It's possible. Oh wait, I'm oh these guys want to fight. Oh. I thought I would just talk to them and we would have a conversation. I guess not. They want to fight. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's, uh... Let's pull us a Fire Alpha. Although we have Beta, but whatever. Oh, good. Crying. That's awesome. Crying lowers your accuracy for uh, physical attacks. Makes them harder to connect. We're going to use the Beta. It does more damage. And you're probably saying, well... Why would you waste your PP? Well, it just so happens that where we are in this base, and actually because of because of what I just said, I'll just go ahead and use the new attack. You get to see it, it's kinda cool. This is Rock and Beta. Nice little slice of damage. The reason I can I can waste my psychic points like this is because I'm about to enter a butterfly room. You say, well what the crap's a butterfly room? Well, I'll show you. It's this thing. Butterflies appear in here. Is that convenient or what? Anyway, let's see. Um, we're going to need multiple butterflies to make us all better, but we'll start with this one. Yay, butterflies! Okay. Now, there's multiple ways to approach this. A lot of people spend a good amount of time here just fighting uh, foppies over and over. Or foppies. And it's a pretty good strategy. I mean, you... You, you have to admit that doing that much, uh, or, or getting that much experience every time is, is pretty sweet, and it's really, really freaking easy. I mean, you're right next to a butterfly room, pretty much they put this in the game just so you could level up. Um, the problem is Earthbound is so easy as it is, there's really no reason to, to, to do this to you. Paula's level is now 20. Oh, baby. Offense up by 3. Defense up by 1. Oh, baby. Speed went up by 3. Guts went up by 2. Vitality went up by 1. IQ went up by 2. Luck went up by 2. Max HP went up by 8. That rocks. Beep went up by 8. That's pretty big. Let's get a game green on this one. Yes. Awesome. I just killed 2 with no problem. Gained 800 experience doing nothing. You're saying, well, if you don't want to over, over level... Why are you still here? Well, I don't want to overlevel. That's true. But I do want to get some levels. So I'm going to fight just a few more, and then I'll be out of here. I promise. Because it is way too easy to, um, you know, suddenly jump up to, like, level 30 with Ness, and at that point, it's it's all screwed. Like, you, you're so powerful that nothing in the game can stand in your way. But it is nice to have that sense of, that sense of power. It's exhilarating in a game. This is level now 23. Offense went up by 1. Speed went up by 2. Guts went up by 1. Vitality went up by 1. HP went up by 15. People went up by 1. Jeff's level is now 21. Speed went up by 1. XP went up by 1. So now Ness is level 23. I have I have played it before where I got Ness to level 30. And when I when I got them to level 30, it was it was it was madness like the rest of the game. Like it was just so it was just easy. It was just so easy. So I'm gonna try not to do that to myself. All right. I don't think Ness will even get a chance to attack, but if he does, he can use Rock and Beta. 
So Paul's just gonna sit here and do fire beta and kill all the fobbies. And we'll gain experience, like, out of our minds. And if, I mean, if you're playing the game, hopefully, maybe you've decided to play along with me. Um, or any time you play through the game, really. Um, alright, offense up alpha. Uh, you know, you can stop here. And it's fun. It is fun to at least try it one time. It's, it's definitely a, a frickin' snake kind of thing. You guys don't maybe, maybe not know what frickin' snake is. I'm planning on doing a Let's Play um, in the very near future of Metal Gear Solid 3 and what I call frickin' Snake Edition. And basically all you do is run through the game on easy or very easy mode and just shoot everybody. It, it completely loses the stealth aspect, which might anger some fans of the series, but I've beaten the game before, and it's a very great, it's, it's a wonderful game. But it's also very fun to do it like that. Just levels now 22, offense now by 2, uh, HP went up by 3. I would, I would highly recommend, if you haven't tried it like that, to, to give it a shot, to give it a fair shake. It is, it's actually very fun to run through the game like that. Because it, there, is, you can, there is some fun whenever you have a, a sense of power like that. I don't know if this guy's even going to be able to kill us, is he? It's just one. Paula showed him. Jeez. I think that's that's the allure of uh, of this area is that you you can very easily become so powerful and it's fun. It is it is it's fun to become super incredibly powerful like that. Um, but you know it it does come at a price. It does make the game ridiculously easy. Uh, which is bad because the game is already ridiculously easy. Um, in my opinion, the game like Earthbound is one of the easiest games I've ever played. So it's it's kind of it's kind of nice when someone dies. It's, it's like oh wow, either I made a huge mistake, which is possible, or you know the game was le legitimately hard for a second. So it's <laughs> kind of kind of something I want to see. All right, let's take. Oh wow. I was gonna, I was expecting to fight six more here and then call it a day, but none of them showed up. There's a few down here. Four. All right, you four. It's fun to level up. I don't care what anyone says, but I will stop. I will stop. It's kind of like an ad addiction, almost. Okay, I just gotta get one more level. Okay, I guess that's why people get addicted to WoW. Luckily, if you spent just half the amount of time you'd spend on WoW in, like, a, an evening, you'd probably get all your guys full-leveled in Earthbound. <laughs> Ness's level is now 24. Oh, baby, offense went up by 4. Defense went up by 2. Guts went up by 2. IQ went up by 2. Oh, baby, luck went up by 3. HP went up by 1. That rocks. People went up by 8. Ness learned Healing Beta, which just basically heals even more advanced um, problems. Anything over here? Still nothing. <sighs> oh, I just... I, I hate to fall into the, the, the problem of saying, oh, just one more, just one more. But doggone it, just one more. Paula could get to level 22. Okay. For real, one more fight, no matter how many are over there. Let's see what we got. Okay, looks like we're gonna get... What? Oh, that's not fair. There were like five over there, and it only let me attack one. That's not fair. Okay, come on. I have to at least fight one more. Doggone it. Because they're gonna chase me anyway. Okay, here. Okay, that one didn't make it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run past him. But these ones have to die. Come on, that's only fair. You guys were watching. Okay, fire bait is gonna take these guys out. Then we're gonna spend a little time in the uh, the butterfly room to recover. And then we will take out Master Belch. Paul's level is 22. HP went up by two. Okay. See you later, Foppy. He's not gonna chase me. Hopefully, there's not another slime over here. Oh, there are more foppies though. Okay, I apologize. If I could have, I would have, I would have gotten away from them. But they're following me around. What can I do? Jeff, will, I think Jeff might level up after this, which would be fine. Because uh, when we, it wasn't, it was not very long ago. Jeff was only level ten, and we were like, oh crap, Jeff is gonna die. Jeff's level is now twenty-three. Defense up by one. I have speed went up by one. Guts went up by one. HP went up by one. It's always sad when you get to that. Oh, this is actually really good, because we can use this as a distraction to run past the slimy little pile. Bye, slimy little pile. Excellent. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is heal everybody up. Make sure... Okay. 
I think everyone needs a boost, right? 196, 94, yeah, okay. So the first thing he'll do is heal everyone's health. That's rude. I shouldn't say heal everyone's health. Restore everyone's health. Okay. Now we all have full HP. Now it's just a matter of restoring our PP. Okay. Back out. Back in. There's also a possibility of not getting a butterfly. But it looks like we're, we've been getting pretty lucky. We've been getting pretty lucky this entire Let's Play. We just continually run into magic butterflies. I'm not actually sh I'm not actually sure where we are with uh, with our PP. We may have we may be completely restored at this point because that's three is sixty, so we probably are. Let's take a look. Restored, yes. Completely restored, and Jeff doesn't have any. Awesome. I'd say we are very much ready for a fight. Wow. Wow, really? This is actually kind of good because we can we can afford to use twenty PP on these guys. And uh, then we'll be we'll be all set. Um, a bash. Have her use fire beta, and Jeff can also shoot fire beta. It's gonna do a nice little hunk of damage. Ness can't move. Awesome. Ness takes damage. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Fire alpha and shoot. Yeah, you don't want him to call for help. These are the enemies you don't want to fight multiples of. Fire Alpha, going to take out the first one, I'm sure. Yep. Second one, not so lucky. Oh, God, we're so close. So stinking close. Defend. No, wait. We're going to get that butterfly. Everybody shoot it. There we go, nice. Crying is a status ailment that is not going to stick around. Um, after the battle, it, 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 it's gone. Okay. So, let's see here. We can restore Ness's health. Then grab this butterfly. Man, that was that was great. It's like when we never really run into problems. Aren't you the fly hunting delivery boy? What's the password? It doesn't mean I don't trust you. Just say it. Say it now. Someone so quiet is either extremely shy or extremely dangerous. What a suspicious fellow. So we continually run into these stupid little guys. Uh, hmm. I'm tempted to use thunder. I don't know. I don't think. I don't, I'm not really sure what thunder does to these things. Whatever. Let's try it. Of course, it's gonna miss. As long as he doesn't prevent Ness from hitting him, Ness can probably take him out himself. I'm just curious to see how much damage thunder will do. Thunder normally does a, a fairly good amount of damage no matter who it hits. Apparently, thunder is very powerful. All right, got a little more boost before we walk into this room and pass these guys. Finally take out Master Belch. Burp. So you are Ness? I see, Gyork, Gyork, Gyork. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. <laughs> you make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. Gar, 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 gar. I'll take you down big time. So get ready for the worst fight of your life. <laughs> get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. Yeah, come on, let's go. Master Belch. Actually, an incredibly easy fight. If you remember, whenever we finally beat, after losing Jeff, the boogie tent, we got uh, a little jar here. A jar of fly honey. So we use it. And uh, otherwise, we just defend. Oh, Jeff's nauseous. Master Belch, grab the fly honey. And you're saying, well, what, what exactly does that do? Well, you'll see. Master Belch lost his mind wolfing down the fly honey. Master Belch has infinite health until you give him the fly honey. That means if you don't bring the fly honey to this fight, you cannot win this fight. Well, with one exception. There's an item that you could have gotten up to this point called the HP Sucker. It is possible to kill him with the HP Sucker, though it takes forever and it's not worth your time. Anyway. With that out of the way, I believe, even though Freeze is not effective on the piles, I believe it's effective on Belch. I'm probably wrong, because I continually am wrong about this stuff. But it doesn't really matter. No, okay. There we go. He should be very, very easy to kill with Freeze Beta. Should just take a second. 
He, he's not going to attack us either. He's just going to spend all his time eating that fly honey. And there we go. Easy. Not exactly a worthwhile fight. Nice experience bonus, though. Nest goes to 25. Offense went up by 1. HP went up by 2. People went up by 2. Paula's level is now 23. Offense went up by 2. Speed went up by 1. Guts went up by 1. Max HP went up by 1. People went up by 1. <laughs> Looks like it was an even fight. Burp. But Master Gygus has managed to get the Mani Mani statue into Foreside. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. Suffer, Spanky. <laughs> Burp. Well... That takes care of that. So now we have rescued the Mr. Satherns. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Boing. Goody. Burp. The Mr. Satherns are a strange clan. You worn down? Ah. Boing. Burp. Barf. Stinky P.U. Now we come out here to the top of the mountain. Prior to this moment, uh, this ladder was not uh, fixed, so you couldn't get up here. I didn't point that out, but you couldn't have gotten up here if you wanted to. Uh, but now we are, are up here. And the uh, through this cave, after they take our picture, through that cave up there is the third sanctuary location. And that is what we're going to be after uh, next episode. In my opinion, it is... One of the hardest areas of the game, given uh, what level you're always at. But we're gonna we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try it. So be sure to tune in next time to Stephen Plays, where we will attempt to get the third sanctuary location. Thanks for watching.